we have yet another OCR model on our hand today and this time it is OCR Flux 3 billion which is a multi-modal LLM fine-tuned from Quent 2.5 VL 3 billion instruct designed specifically to convert PDFs and images into clean readable markdown text. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out on various PDF documents. This model excels in accurately extracting text, table and structured content from documents including challenging formats like cross page tables and paragraphs making it ideal for high quality document digitization. Unlike typical OCR models, OCR Flux combines vision and language capabilities to deeply understand and reconstruct document layouts with exceptional fidelity even outperforming larger models in benchmark tests which they have shared on their model card and i will drop the link in video's description now let's get started with the installation i am going to use this ubuntu system and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram courtesy masked compute if you are also looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of gpus okay so let's get started i'm going to first create this virtual environment with coda while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation one of the prerequisites which you need to have in order to get this installed is docker you can also get it installed through vllm and python but i believe this is a uh, easier way to install it through docker because there are heaps of dependencies there i already have a recent version of docker if you don't know how to install docker please search my channel i already have done a very easy to understand video around that and now you can simply use this docker pull command in order to download the image and it is going to download it on your local system as you can see the size is just over 4 gig and the image is downloaded next up we need to uh, download the model for that let's first install this hugging face cli and then we need to log into the hugging face and you would need to have your read token from your hugging face profile which is a free token that you can obtain I already have my token so let me paste it here on the screen and just press capital Y and we are now logged in we can also set it uh, into the environment if we like next up we need to download the model and for that we need to install this git large file storage and I'm installing it on my local system shouldn't take too long it's quite lightweight more often than not and then you can simply run this git lfs install and it is now initialized as you can see here now in order to download the model all you need to do is to just grab the url of the model from hugging face and use the git clone command maybe you can create a new directory called as models on your local system and then you can simply run this command which is going to clone this model from hugging face into that models directory so this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait and the model is downloaded you can ignore these messages it's all good it is only for <coughs> for windows so if for example if you do ls dash ltr you will see that all the files are there with the tokenizer and model okay so our model is also downloaded now now let's create a couple of directories for workspace where we will be putting our uh, documents in order to use it with the model and in that input directory i have placed one pdf file as you can see it is an invoice this is the invoice which i am going to use in order to convert it into markdown format so let me now run this with the docker run command 
So if you look at this Docker, Docker run command, it is using all the GPUs. We are specifying our model, our input directory, and where we want the file to be placed after it is done. And as soon as I have run it, you can see that it is now loading the whole tool, the whole pipeline. It is within the Docker container. It is also instantiating that VLLM. And now the model has been downloaded and it is processing it. I'm just scrolling down. And if I check the VRAM consumption, it is consuming wow, over 38 gig of VRAM, which is huge. The model card says 12 gig of VRAM, but as you can see here, it is now over 39 gig, which is, I guess, the final because it's almost done. So you have to have quite a lot of VRAM for this model. The size is just 3 billion. Interesting. So VLLM is running at the moment. And as it runs, you can see that it is just staying around 39 gig of VRAM. And it has finished generating that markdown format. If you go here and go to output directory from there, go to workspace. It has generated few of the other files. So result and invoice dot markdown, which looks pretty good in terms of it has captured all the information. Markdown tags are there. And if I compare it with the original one, uh, I think it missed the last line, but other than that, it has done wonderfully well. Let me open that. Yep, looks quite good. It hasn't missed any number there, which is a good sign. For another test, let's run this multi-column, multilingual PDF. And when I say multilingual, it is just Chinese and English, and that's about it. I have tested it out with other languages, but doesn't really do a good job, especially in terms of um, the languages which are non-European. Anyway, the, even if it is multilingual, that is fine. So let me run this from my terminal. And it has generated another markdown file. Let me open it for you. And then you can see that it has done the markdown and it has grabbed the Chinese, I believe quite nicely, I would say, if I just compare it visually, if you're a Chinese speaker, please also confirm, but looks okay to me, even the numbers and punctuation, everything is there, both from both, from both columns, of course. So it is also interesting. It hasn't really converted the columns to tables, which is fine because it is not a table. Now, all in all, it is not a bad model. But I would say that given the time it takes to generate these things and it is um, the VRAM footprint plus it is only two languages, there are a lot of other great tools available. I have covered all of them on the channel and we also have checked out various specialized AI models which are specifically can be used very easily with far lower vram in order to do this sort of conversion and not only this a lot of other conversions models can do i mean just for example take a tool like ibm stockling i think that tool is far far more lightweight easier to use than this so you know the benchmarks which these guys have shared are also quite good but i believe that vram consumption plus time it takes to generate is a bit of a blocker so maybe they can improve it in the next version that's it please like the video uh, i would be very grateful and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support